Hi, I'm Andrea, and this is the Weekly Rewind at the Bookish Bay, where I go over a book haul and talk about everything that's happened at the blog this week. So I'm going to hurry and get started because I need to go get my son from school here in just a couple minutes. Um, the first book I received, it was a surprise. I was so, so excited to get it. Um, it is River Road by Suzanne Johnson. Um, I've already read and reviewed this book. Um, Susan had sent me an ARC when they were talking on Twitter, and she um, knows I'm a big fan of the series. So, um, so I, and I'm passing the ARC along to another friend who really likes the series, so she can get a chance to read and review it. But anyway, this came, and I'm so excited, and thank you to Tor Publishing for that. It's a great book, great urban fantasy. Um, the next, actually I've got several books from Tor here. The next book is another Tor book. Um, they contacted me about the re-release of All Men of Genius by Love A.C. Rosen. Um, it's being released in paperback now. I read and reviewed it when it came out. I want to say it was like in January. But, I mean, it's been a while back. Either last fall or early this year. And, um... I actually donated that book to um, a high school library, and um, but anyway, they asked me about doing um, some doing a promo post, and I'm not sure if they sent this for me to keep or whatever. But I'm going to give this away with the promo post because I mean I do like it. I want other people to read it. It's a really good steampunk set in the um, late 1800s, so it's, it's really um, a really good book. Thanks to Tor for that. And the last book on tour is King of the Dead. Now, this is book two in the, um, let's see, the Jeremiah Hunt series, and it's by Joseph Nassis. And um, they contacted me about doing the blog tour, and I'm not going to do the blog tour. I just don't have time right then. But this looks like a good book, so I may see if somebody wants to um, read it. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And, I mean, even more than you can see, it's just really beautiful. Um, so I may see if somebody wants to read this, wants to have it. Um, the rest of the books um, I received for review are ebooks. I received "Make Me Yours," that is number two in the Unravel Me series by Kendall Ryan. Happy to have that. "Me Is Hard," that is book two in the Paradise Diaries by Courtney Cole. Love, love, love the cover love this cover and I really adored um, Dante's Girl and this is the next book. It's more of a companion type but I'm so excited to read that so thanks to Courtney for sending me that and the last book I received for review is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. Um, a lot of my friends have started talking about it and I originally didn't sign up for the tour tour through um, a tell of many reviews because I didn't think I had time but then I started reading excerpts so I begged my friend Julie who runs that to let me on the tour so thanks to Julie and thanks to J.A. for um, letting me come on the tour and for sending me the book. Okay I went on a little bit of a bender the other night. Um, wine may have been involved and bought a bunch of ebooks and I ordered um, some paperback books as well. Um, I got Once Burned, that is book one in the, um, oh shoot, what's the name of that series? The Night Prince series by Janine Frost, and it's a companion to her Night Huntress, Night Huntress World series. This is about Vlad, and who, dang, dang, I, that's the first time I've really looked that closely at it, but I love Janine Frost, I love the series, I've read all of her books, I have all of her books, and I'm so excited to have this. Um, the next book, I, um, I won Reflected in You from Talk Soup Blog recently, and I thought for some reason I already had this, and I can't find it, so I bought another copy of Bear to You by Sylvia Day. It is book one, the Crossfire series. And the last paperback book I bought is Angel Fall by Susan E. <laughs> I mean, I would assume that's how you say it. Um, and that is book one in the Penrin and, and End of the Days, the End of Days series. And um, it was actually, an, I've been hearing great things about this for like a year now. And I was actually going to buy the ebook, but the, the paperback was just a couple dollars more through Amazon. So I decided to go ahead and just buy that. And it's really, really gorgeous anyway. So.
there's that okay the rest of my books are ebooks i bought of blood and bone and that is book one of the minaldi legacy by courtney cole i've heard fantastic things about that um it's an adult i'm not sure if it's a contemporary or or um um a paranormal i'm not sure so i'm excited to find out about that um i bought my favorite mistake by chelsea cameron chelsea's a real sweetheart i've been hearing great things about this series um i bought the secret of ella and micah and that is big one the secret series by jessica Sorensen. my friend um heather she doesn't have a blog but she <laughs> she is very active on twitter um and she, the other night, she was like, you have to buy this, you have to buy this, it's only nine cents, you have to buy this, I promise you, you're going to love it. So I bought it. I'd had my eye on it anyway, so Heather gave me the extra incentive, so we'll see if she's right. I bet she is. We have pretty similar tastes. Um, and the last one I bought is Her Forbidden Hero, and that is big one in the Hero series by Laura Kay. I'm participating in the blog tour for the second book in the series, and I think it's more of a companion, but anyway, I'm really wanting to dig into Laura's book, so I went ahead and bought that. Okay, Awesome People, Kendall Ryan, Courtney Coe, Cole, <laughs> J.A. Redmersky, and Tora Publishing. Thanks for the books. Um, search terms that led to the blog. Once again, my top terms are um, my blog title, Love Actually, Chris Hemsworth, and Tamara Weber. So, I love that. Okay, had some, had a really weird one this week. Well, I say really weird. I don't know. Karina Halley Partner. Now, I don't know this, if this is like writing partner or personal partner. <laughs> I'm just kind of struggling with that because if you know Karina, you know she'd say none of your bleeping business. <laughs> so, I thought that was pretty <laughs> funny. Um, the next one was Scent of um, Scent of Magic Teaser. I've heard of the book. I've heard it's great, but I have not read any of Maria Snodder's books, but I plan to at some point. Ask of Passenger Quotes. Um, loved that book. It is full of fabulous quotes, so I linked my review. Um, Cora Carmack and... Um, that one made me super happy because she signed a book deal with Harper Collins, a three book deal. So I'm very, very happy for her. I love losing it. Can't see what she, wait to see what she writes in the future. And I'll link to my review. Um, and the last one was Destiny, Brightest Kind of Darkness, number three. I love this cover. It has Ethan on it, and I can't wait to read that. It's a beautiful cover. Go check it out. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm not going to run over in my blog this week's post because I really need to go. And they are all linked up below as well as the giveaways. So go check everything out. Hope everybody, um, this is being filmed before Thanksgiving, but I'm not posting it till after Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody had a great holiday. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great, um, rest of your week. If you leave me a comment, I will come check out your blog. Bye.